if that's okay. That's a great. Okay. Okay. Inter blue. Bye. <laughs> okay. So I will introduce the Inter XPU backend for Triton. So the XPU here means they're both for uh, CPU and the GPU. But in this section, I will uh, only focus on the Inter GPU backend. Okay. Uh, yeah. Uh, this is today's agenda. I will cover the software stack and the current status. Besides that, I will uh, take a case study to understand the performance insights, and uh, I also will introduce our future work. Okay. Yeah, this is the interior GPU software stack for Triton. So, uh, yeah, they're uh, just like uh, we, we integrate with Triton at the inter, uh, Triton GPU dialect. The motivation why we choose this. Uh, technical direct uh, as much as possible. So, yeah, but just uh, uh, we are talk, uh, we have talked there in the Triton uh, monthly uh, community meeting. So Triton GPU dialect, their stability might differ to the Triton uh, dialect, but. Uh, uh, for uh, Inter GPU backend, I think so far so good. I just needed to replace the Inter GPU backend to the latest code regularly. Okay, and uh, um, after that, we will lower the uh, Triton GPU dialect to the SPAV dialect, and then eventually we will translate the SPAV dialect to the SPAV IR. It means that the uh, the, the Triton kernel for Intel GPU is in form of the CPAV IR. Okay. Um, similar as the other backends, we count on the PyTorch to provide the runtime support. Uh, to uh, the PyTorch runtime here is to uh, wrap the uh, CPAV Triton kernel and then launch the uh, uh, the Triton kernel. Okay. Yeah. So uh, I want to highlight that. So. Okay, this is the current status since we uh, leverage most of the optimization passes of the Triton GPU dialect. So we have uh, obtained some promising performance. We take the PyTorch 2.0 induct Hagen face benchmark as the uh, to, to mail the end to end performance. Uh, we collect the uh, BFLOAD 16, AP16, both for inference and training. So yeah, currently we are focusing on the auto mix session pro uh, uh, auto mix precision mode. The performance is uh, is promising, and we will continuously optimize other uh, different scenarios. Okay. Yeah, the, this page just to show the individual uh, models performance. We some the performance is impressive, but uh, we also noticed that some of the model's performance is uh, not as good as the eager mode, and the, the outlier portion, the outlier means the speed up ratio is less than one. Okay, the outlier portion for the, this BFLOAT 16 training auto mix precision mode is about 28%. Uh, okay, so yeah, I will introduce how to optimize it later and what are the uh, uh, root cause. Okay. Uh, regarding the AP16 inference mode, so yeah, the most of the, the uh, performance is uh, is better than the eager mode, and the, the outlier portion is about um, five percent or whatever. Okay. So there are two major reasons here why the uh, performance is not as good as the eager mode. There are two major reasons. One is on the uh, induct side, so uh, some configurations on the induct side might not be optimal for or performant for the Intel GPU. For example, the number WAPs or number CTAs, uh, we need to adjust it a little bit uh, to enlarge the parallelism. And uh, after we do that, some uh, performance will be will come back. And uh, another key major reason 
is on the Trident side or the Intel GPU backend side. Uh, uh, for example, we need to explicitly to attach the alignment attribute to the uh, Sphere VIR to ensure the backend compiler could uh, do its optimization explicitly, just, uh, just as uh, Phil's mentioned. So if we analyze the, the GNASA, we found that uh, some generated code is not recognized well. So we needed to, we have to add the more attributes to the uh, Sphere VIR to ensure uh, the vectorization could uh, do its work well. Okay. So uh, we, with this first, uh, first round of performance analysis, and we have some uh, performance insights about it. So we have a uh, high confidence that we could improve their performance in the uh, next quarter or the early of the quarter. In geo means speed up ratio. So yeah, regarding the training, we could uh, have 10% about uh, about 10% performance improvement. And uh, regarding the performance uh, inference mode, we could get a 5% uh, performance improvement. And in parallel, besides their performance improvement, the outlier portion will be reduced significantly. It uh, for the training, uh, for the for the training, their outlier portion for for example, it could be reduced from the 28% to the uh, 5%, about 5%. And uh, regarding the, in terms of the inference mode, the, we, we even could not find the, the uh, 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 outlier model. Okay. Yeah. So we have finished the, the first round of the performance analysis and uh, for the outlier model. Besides that, we also want to understand the uh, where the performance improvement comes from. So we needed to get more performance insights from the hard, uh, software perspective and hardware perspective. Okay, so we uh, take a case study here for the T5 for conditional generation. Yeah, we provide first from the uh, software perspective, we pro use the PyTorch profiler to get more performance breakdown. We established the, the uh, Triton kernel and its uh, eight operations counterpart. Uh, we can uh, we, we we can see that the most of the uh, uh, the, the the Triton kernel performance improvement is impressive, right? And but uh, yeah, okay. Regarding uh, and by default, the in dark side will fall back its uh, metamor or batch metamor to the eight operations. So uh, for the metamor, I think. Uh, it, it is out of Trident scope here uh, under the, this context for, for PyTorch. In the, yeah, syntax. Okay. Uh, this is from the hardware perspective. We could uh, see that is, it, it is uh, the hardware behavior. Uh, we use the Intel Vision tools to profile, to profile the Intel hardware. Okay, we can see that the eight operations, the GPU memory, for the A10 side, for, for the A10, the GPU memory access continues until to the end. But uh, for the uh, 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 Triton, Triton mode, it just uh, the, the, G, the global memory access just uh, happens at the beginning of the, uh, 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 the kernel. Okay. Besides that, the IL3 cache bandwidth is uh, the, uh, on the Triton side is much better than the Eagle mode. Okay. So, yeah, this is from the hardware perspective. Okay. Um, so I think we'll, we'll have still another uh, optimizing opportunities. Even the, uh, this kernel has uh, obtained, obtained the impressive uh, performance improvement, right? We, we, we also observed that the the stored portion is uh, non-negligible. It is about 31% uh, uh, stored by the GPU barrier. So we try. We also are trying to uh, mitigate the uh, barrier overhead. Okay. So th uh, this is the uh, case study for to to help us to understand where the. 
<laughs> what, what, what is that? Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. The, the, so, okay. So this uh, help us to understand where the performance comes from and where we should to do optimizations, right? So, yeah, it, we we could uh, also get more performance uh, insights for uh, the trading. Okay. That's future work. So yeah, Inter yes, uh, we yes we we have clo closely collaborated with the trading community, and we have more discussion there with. enough right we will collaborate with fuel and the triton community to 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 okay regarding the functionality triton for inter gpu backend uh we are still optimizing their tier dot and uh, we are to support their uh, uh block pointer okay Regarding the performance, so we will continuously improve overall the performance, yes. And the performance optimization is always on the road, right? So I think it is, uh, uh, we will continuously optimize the performance, okay? So just as I mentioned before, so we are also working on the uh, CPU side. For the CPU, we are trying to enable the uh, Triton to support the CPU x86 platform. Right, so it means that um, we have just uh, uh, hands up at the last uh, Triton community meeting. So currently the POC work is a work in progress. When we have some uh, initial result and when some of the POC or MVP, minimal viable product uh, output is ready, I will share more information at the Triton community meeting. Okay. Um, so yeah, in summary, in the GPU backend integrates Trident GPU dialect and the most functionality and the optimization passes are reusable for Intel GPU backend. And we have uh, got their line of sight to get their promising performance right and the more optimizations for Intel GPU are on the road. Okay, so uh, last I want to express my gratitude and thanks to Phil Jason and Horis, yeah, yeah. I think with the land, we support the Triton, right? So Phil gave us uh, more uh, valuable uh, suggestions how to support the solar party backend, right? And uh, we also enabled the Intel GPU backend on top of Triton to support Inductor. And Jason and Horis have us a lot to enable uh, the torch to, to enable Intel GPU to support the torch dot compile. Yeah, I'm very sh sh express my gratitude to thanks and thanks to but to 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 feel just say, okay. Yeah, yes. Is there any question? Thank you. Yeah, seems like I not out of the time. Okay. No. Okay. Yeah. Let me turn it off. Thanks, Egan. Uh, so next we have our first recorded video, and I'll just set it up. It's um, it's the Qualcomm backend. So we have. Vectorization of Triton kernels for Qualcomm Hexagon backend. Let me start the video. <laughs> 